Shabbat Shalom everyone, Parashat Vayakel Pukudei. I don't think I ever thought I'd see the day where I'd be giving a, a, a Parsha talk in such circumstances, not just here in Israel, but also around the world. Uh, aside from the fact that it's my dad's yard site and uh, there's no minyanim and shuls have been closed and uh, there's no even saying Kaddish. Um, but first and foremost, Rufor Shlema for everyone um, who may have the uh, coronavirus, has the flu. Um, I hope it's uh, those who have got it, that it's very large, will be over very shortly. Uh, those who may not even know that they've got it, Rufor Shlema also, uh, may you uh, be isolated at home so nothing is passed on to anyone else. Very strange and crazy, maybe even unbelievable times for Am Yisrael. Uh, what is the message from Hashem? Uh, no one really knows. Um, there's obviously great things that will come out of it because there's nothing bad in the world that can be purely bad. Uh, there can be things that happen, but only good will come out of it. In many ways, it's like Am Yisrael before they were left Mitzrayim. Yes, there were plagues, there were shocking things that happened around the whole, all around them. In fact, they were even in some form of isolation. But soon afterwards, the morning after, while plagues were going out and things were happening outside their doors, um, the next morning there was a gula. Uh, Ravami Sternberg in the old city, uh, lives in Bet Chashmonaim, in the middle of the old Jewish quarter, uh, spoke about the uh, birth pangs uh, before actually giving birth. Yes, things can sometimes be traumatic and uncomfortable and problematic. Remember, mo for most people, this is uh, uh, okay. It's an inconvenience. Some people got the flu. Uh, some people, it's even worse. So let's hope that the medical system doesn't collapse. Uh, but one should fear, uh, one, should be, one should be well. And uh, like I said, I wish everyone a full Shlema. The actual Parsha, if you think about it, the Parsha, the last two weeks, last week, Kitisa, that everyone giving a Machatita Shekel, and what's the Pasuk say? Kofre Nefesh Lashem Bifkodotam, Velo Yebahem Negev. That there shouldn't be a plague, there shouldn't be epidemic, a Negev, mentioned a few times in the whole Torah, last week's Parsha, um, about uh, giving money for Yerushalayim and building the Mishkan and building the Bera Migdash, and there shouldn't be a Negev. And in this week's parasha, I, I, can't, I couldn't have asked for something even better. And I, I believe that all of us are going to have plenty of time because most shuls aren't open. Uh, and in many cases, this is uh, in the same way that it's a mitzvah maybe to double on Shabbos. It's a mitzvah also sometimes uh, under the circumstances for Pikuach Nefesh and otherwise to be at home and actually daven at home, which all of us will be doing and having our parashiyot uh, learning more about it with our families, which is another big another big plus. But this week's Pasha is all about Shabbat. Think about it for a second. The Pasha that talks about Shabbat and the importance of Shabbat and the Brit and the whole of Am Yisrael is basically Mushvat. The whole of Am Yisrael is at home over Shabbat. Everything is closed down. There's no public transport. There's no nothing. There's not even, even shuls. We're davening here at home and learning about the Pasha, learning about the Shabbat in the most pure of the senses within our own families. Uh, there's a lot that could be said. I'm no doctor. Um, I'm just a person sitting here in the outskirts of Yerushalayim in my home, like in isolation, like many other families. But I do wish everyone well. Fear not. Have a beautiful Shabbat. And may we all be elevated and see the Gula after the slightly traumatic period that we're going through. Shabbat Shalom.